What's up guys? Mookie here. Today I'm with one of my really good friends, Lena from high school. She is a beast at yoga. Today we are out at the park and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I do that have assisted me along my weight loss journey. I am a super beginner. I've taken about like five or six core power yoga classes, watched YouTube videos, and I have always admired her skills on Instagram. I'm gonna drop that below, guys. Go follow her if you wanna honestly be amazed. Today she's gonna take me through a beginner flow and show you guys some stuff that you can do. I obviously can't get in all the proper yoga positions, so Lena's gonna walk us through some um, positions and flows, so I'm gonna just let her take over from now, guys. So this is Lena. Cool, hi guys. Um, yeah, so we're just going to break down a couple basic poses, um, and we're going to try to make it a flow, but also we might just break down some poses and take our time once we're in them. Um, so let's go ahead and set up, start standing. Sounds good. Okay, so we're just going to start standing at the top of your mat here. Your feet can be a little bit wider than hip distance, whatever is really comfortable for your body. Your arms are going to be towards your sides. I want you to just stand up nice and tall, give the shoulders a roll back and down. Awesome. And think about not puffing out the chest too much. You kind of want to bring everything in. So trying to keep that core nice and tight. So we're going to take, you can relax the shoulders down. We're going to take an inhale, take our arms up towards the sky. Perfect. And exhale, arms down. Good. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. And exhale, what we're going to do here, you might want to spread the feet apart a little bit more for me. Perfect. And then I'm just going to actually place some blocks right down here for you. He may need them, he may not need them, so you'll just see um, what works for your body here. So I'll have mine here just in case too. So let's inhale, arms come up. Exhale, you're going to begin to uh, fold forward with a flat back. And you can either bring the hands down to the blocks. If you can't make it towards the blocks, you can just put your hands on your thighs here. Or if you do make it towards the blocks, you can always lower the blocks down a couple levels, even to the lowest level, or you can remove them all together and bring your hands to the floor if you can reach it there. So whatever's comfortable for you there. Perfect. Good. So now planting your hands down on the block, I want you to step in your right, right foot. Good. And you're going to just drop that knee back there. Good. How you doing? Good. Solid. <laughs> okay. I always, uh, I start, I tighten up and I, I stop breathing and I, I, people always tell me breathing's breathe, the most breathe. important part. <laughs> totally, it is. <laughs> so don't forget to breathe. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So can you um, bring your hips back a little bit? Perfect. And then now bring the blocks back with you. Just like that. You can have your, um, you can have the block on the inside if that's more comfortable. So whatever works for your body here, you can have it here. Or there. Good. Okay. So I want you to bring the blocks up a couple levels. Because what we're looking for here is you want a, a nice and flat back. And you want your tippy fingers on the block. So you don't want to be collapsing down into the block like that. Exactly. Nice and flat back. Tippy fingers on the block. Good. And so here you can sink into that hip a little bit. But I still want you pressing the, that front foot into the ground really strongly. So we're not just relying on our flexibility, right? I want you to think strength here too. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> All right. So now you can come back out of that a little bit. You're gonna yeah. take the walk the blocks back a bit and begin to straighten out that front leg. You might need to inch it forward a little bit. Okay. We're not gonna be here for long. You might feel a little pretty intense hamstring stretch. Yep. Right. Oh man, guys. I love yoga because it just opens me up and it keeps, I feel like it, for whatever, I am limbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. You're doing it. Okay, cool. We're going to walk the blocks forward as we bend into that front leg. Good. And then you can place them back down on the low level. Plant your hands into the block and then you're going to tuck your back toes. Lift that back knee. And then what you're going to do for me is take that front foot back into the plank. Solid. Good. So here I want you to think about pushing really strongly into the palms. Press into my palm here. Press, press, press. Good. That's where we are. And at any point you can drop to your knees. If this feels really intense here in plank, I just want you to come down to your knees. It's, you can still hold a really strong plank. Good. So I'm going to have you go ahead and drop to your knees now. 
so that was um, playing for those. And now from here, um, you can either choose to keep the blocks there or remove them down out to the side. So we're gonna go um, all the way down to our mat. So okay. I just want you to lower all the way down, nice and slow. Perfect. Um, keeping and if being down on your belly isn't comfortable for you, stay on your knee, hands and knees, just like this. But. So here I want you to keep your palms right by your chest here. Yep. Perfect. Your feet are um, digging down into the mat. Good. And you're going to take an inhale and just try to lift your chest an inch off of the mat. Not very much. Good. Try to keep the elbows pulling in towards your sides. Do I, do I not push off of the palms of my hands? No. Right. So you want to try to use your back muscles here to lift up. You can even lift your... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this Good. is like a back workout. Totally. And lower down. Take an inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna lift one more time. Over pose, and exhale, lower. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees. Good. Killing it. Killing Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I, honestly, this, this is like much more helpful than the classes that I was going to. Oh, I'm so glad. Because, okay. like, it's breaking down the poses and like we're going through each like individual step. And so like if you guys are watching and like listen to the like suggestions Lena gives me when like I can't do certain stuff because that's like what's gonna ultimately help you guys. Totally, yeah it will. All right, so hands and knees here. Um, again, you can choose to bring the blocks into this. We're gonna be coming back into a downward facing dog and using the blocks here is just elevating the ground up for you so that it can kind of distribute your weight weight back a little bit. That way you're not like dropping a ton of weight down into your hands, Yeah. right? So like here, it might be kind of hard to like not come forward because it's like, you know, the weight coming forward, but this will just like bring the ground up a little bit. So you can try that if you'd like, but if you're comfortable without the blocks, you're just gonna um, plant your hands about shoulder distance apart and I want you to walk them forward a couple of inches so that your arms are no longer straight up and down. Perfect. You're going to tuck your back toes and just lift your knees up and send your hips up and back. Perfect. And then another thing here that you guys can do is keep your feet spread a little bit wider than hip distance and your palms a little bit wider. It's just going to give you a little bit um, uh, a little bit like wider base, but again, if that doesn't work for you, you can keep your feet around hip distance and arms around shoulders. Yeah. Awesome. So while you're here, I want you to think it's pressing really strong through the palms. Awesome. You're setting your hips up towards the sky. We're breathing. I know. <laughs> Alright, and what I'm going to have you do from here is you're just going to walk your hands back towards your feet. Like that. Yeah, we're coming all the way up. Awesome. Cool. How you doing? Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's actually my first time fully getting through that. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. awesome. Like I can whenever I do the downward dog, I can never like get myself back fully up. So a lot of the times people um they'll tell you from a downward facing dog to walk your feet towards your hands. Yeah. And that might be a little bit more difficult. So what I had you do there instead is walk your um, hands back towards your feet. So maybe you could try that and you know because coming from here up is a lot harder, right? That's I, I missed the, I confused the variation. I was yeah. like that's what I couldn't do. Right. But I mean it's the same point, right? You're just coming back up to a forward fold. So yeah. do whatever works for you. Nice. Okay, so side two. Side two. <laughs> Alright, coming back to the front of your mat. Okay. So you can grab those blocks, get them ready if you need them at whatever level works for you. We're going to take an inhale, take our arms up towards the sky. Exhale with a flat back, we're folding forward and bringing our palms down to the blocks or the floor or your thighs, whatever works. You can lower them down to whatever level. Planting those palms into the block. This time you're going to step the opposite foot that you didn't do last time, so I can come to the left. Yes. Okay. Awesome. You're gonna drop that back. Perfect. 
So same thing on this side. What we're looking for is a nice and flat back and tippy fingers on whatever level of the block you need. So that might be all the way at the levest, highest level. And if you don't have a block, you can just place your hands here. That just might be a little bit more of a deep stretch. So perfect. Back nice and flat. And you're breathing, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm like, trying. <laughs> I feel like I get so tight and tight, like everything is so like. You're focusing on everything else that you're like, how can I remember to breathe? Yeah, it's <laughs> I like totally the, get it. Yeah. Okay. One thing we naturally do every second. <laughs> right. Um, palms back down to the block. So you're gonna walk them back so you can just straighten out that front leg. We might need to wiggle the heel forward. What we're looking for here is this back thigh straight up and down. So you don't want to be like leaning back like that, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect, exactly, just like that. And what Mookie's doing with his leg outside of the block is totally fine. That's what works for his body, so you can definitely do that. Good. And then you're just going to walk the blocks back forward, bend back into that front. Leg. Plant your palms onto the block. Blocks, you're going to tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and then press really strongly into your hands as you step that front foot back into a plank position. So we've been here already before. Again, you can choose to use the blocks or just do your regular plank. Pushing really strongly through both hands. Think about pulling your ribs in towards the sky. Solid. And breathing. <laughs> we can drop the knees down to the mat. We can remove the blocks if you want. Plant the palms on the mat. We're just going to lower all the way down to our bellies, however you want to get there. And the same lifts? Mm -hmm. Yep, same lifts. The palms by your chest, exactly. You can so I want you to hold it there at the top though, right? So okay. we're gonna, yeah, press our legs strongly into the mat. Pump it back in. Yeah. Good. And we're gonna use our hands and knees from here. Oh man, my arms are burning, guys. This Ooh, is intense. hard work. <laughs> oh. uh, it's, it's hard work. It, oh boy, this is hard. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah, I mean, yoga is you know, all about strength, building, yeah. mobility, that body awareness. Yep, and that's like what I love that. about it. Like, yeah. I want those, I want that. Like. Perfect. <sighs> so, what are we doing now? Hands and knees. So we're going to do our second down dog. So, you're going to um, wiggle those hands forward. So, again, here you can choose to use the blocks just to elevate the ground a little bit, or you can do it just on the mat. How many people are going to do it? Um, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knees, and send your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. Think about really pushing that floor away. And breathing, sending those hips up towards the sky, and maybe the heels come down to the mat, maybe they don't. Ooh, the calves. That stretch? Yeah. <laughs> Take an inhale. Next, you'll walk those hands back towards your feet. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> that is intense. You're oh, doing my God. Awesome. Seriously, you're doing incredible. Really? Yes. I was super worried. I was like, oh my god, I, I was, that's what I told you. What, off camera, I told Lita I was stretching before. He's like, I needed to warm up a little bit. I was yeah. like, that's good, that's fair. I, I went on a little it. walk, I stretched. I was like, okay, I need to like make sure I come here not as tight as I was coming into it. Right, right. No, you're seriously killing me. You're doing great. Thank you. Okay, so just um, a couple other things um, that we're going to break down, some things that you will probably be seeing a lot in yoga classes. Um, so, let's start from, again, the front, the front of our mat. Okay. So now we're going to do the second flow or break down the next set of moves for you guys. Yeah, all right, guys. So now we're going to do part two, a lot of, another little mini flow um, that I'm going to take Mookie through. And again,
again, just breaking things down for him so that he can walk into any yoga class and feel a little bit more comfortable um, taking the flow. Um, okay, so starting again at the front of our mats. We're gonna inhale, take the arms up towards the sky. Take the feet a little wider if you need to. Exhale, we're gonna be folding forward. You can reach your hands to a pair of blocks or to your shins. You're gonna take a bend to the legs, plant your palms down to the blocks or to the mat or whatever you need here. You're gonna step your right foot way far back. Awesome, how you doing? Good. Do I just keep it elevated? Yep, keep the back knee elevated here. And you're going to turn the back foot so the side of your foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Perfect. And then I want you to um, bring the right palm up and you're going to keep the left palm down onto the floor. Perfect. And then can you bring your arm all the way up and over? So a little tall. Can you come all the way up to the same knees over each other? Solid. That was beautiful. Okay. Have you bend a little bit more into this front knee? How you doing? Good. Yeah, oh, balance yeah. Balance pro. Feeling the burn in my quad right here. In the quad, yeah. All right, awesome. So I want you to think about trying to keep that back leg a little straighter. Solid. We're keeping the arms nice and strong, both out to the side. Perfect. Do I look straight or forward? You look good. Yeah, you look good. Oh. So this is our warrior two. Feeling that burn in that front leg? Oh, big time. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to have you do, staying deep in that front leg here, you're going to flip that front palm up and reach it all the way up towards the sky as the back hand goes down to your leg. So don't drop the hang that head way back. So what I want you to think about is, can you break? No, you're good. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Okay. Taking a breather. I want you to um, bring, think about bringing that arm up towards the sky. So it's not over, it's up. You reach it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Ooh. lead more. Solid balance. Perfect. Okay, you're going to take your arms back to a warrior two. You're going to take them back to the ground as you lift the back heel up. And you can plant the hands on the blocks. And you can drop the back knee down. Ooh, nice. wider base is scooch that um, front foot out to the side. Exactly. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And you're going to lift the back knee up. You might need to walk the toes in just a little bit. And can you take your arms up to a high lunge? Solid. <laughs> you're good. I'm good. The balance I'm... is tricky on this one. It really is. And if it is, if it is tricky and you don't want to do the standing one, you could just do the low lunge, just like this, like we did earlier. Okay. This is the modification for that. Yeah, so same idea, you're just not lifted up, right? So we're just here. Yep. Am I too high on this lunge? No, no, you're looking good. Okay. Good. without actually moving them, right? So you're just like pretending to add resistance to the mat. That might help you balance a little bit. <laughs> it, <Can you> break? <laughs> oh, man, and if there's a wall here, do this by a wall. That way you can just like grab onto the wall, right? Right now yeah. we're out in the open, so not really a wall, but you know, it's a, a great one. You said the other variant was keeping it off my knee, right? Keeping it on your knee, right? Yeah, yeah. so you could just, um, onto your knee. You don't have to be up here. You can okay. just drop that knee. And same thing. You can bring your palms here. Yeah, exactly. You can even take I'm your... still like losing balance here. Hey, this is hard. Yeah, this is tough here. Here, just send the 
on the hips up and back and set down our feet. Good. I'm trying to like. Takes a lot of focus. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like keep showing in my. Like, I hard, like break time. Back to the hard work. <laughs> We're here to work, right? Oh my god, she's like Kristen and Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. They um, actually don't give you breaks, so that was oh, nice. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. nice one. <laughs> okay, we can move the block out, um, out of the way. Um, so I want you to uh, tuck the toes under. You're going to bring the hands forward just a little bit. And you're going to lift the knees into a downward facing dog and walk the hands back towards your feet. Just coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, arms towards your sides, and let's walk back up towards the front of our neck. Again, grab the blocks, get ready, because we're going to do side two now. Just killing it. Doing oh. awesome. <laughs> and I like I really like this is a huge challenge like I feel like I'm getting a core workout my arms are hurting mission accomplished <laughs> my legs are hurting it's like a total body workout guys and I'm getting like stretched out at the same time totally. doing everything so this working is, like, on honestly his body awareness it. proprioception flexibility range of motion the whole bit <laughs> are you a physical therapist too like, in, in the making Yay. <laughs> DPT in training <laughs> Okay. All right, let's take the arms up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward, bring our hands to the blocks, whatever level we need. Plant our palms, and this time we're stepping the left foot way back as far as we can. Turning that back heel, dropping it down, so the back foot is parallel to the back of our mat. And we're gonna take the arms up and over. And we can go as slow as we need to try to keep this balance. And bring our arms back. So, okay. Deepen that front knee, that's good. I want you to think about pressing really strongly through both feet. So you're not just dumping all the weight into this front leg, right? A lot of people tend to just come forward and want to dump a lot of weight here. So their quads just take all the work, which it does to burn here. Yeah. But I want you to also think about pressing really hard through that back foot. And a lot of people tend to like hike their shoulders up here just because it's so like they'll start tensing up. I want you to relax those back and down.
back and then you can bring your palms together. Choose to bring your arms up towards the sky. Or for anyone that wants it, you can also lift the back knee and come here. But that's going to be a little bit more advanced there. So that's this one, right? That's that one, exactly. Yeah, Everyone, Everyone's sides are going to be a little bit different. I was going to yeah. say, I'm like, I, on the other side, I had no balance. Yeah. Like, every five seconds, I'd fall. Totally. All our sides are going to be so different in, like, strength, balance, all of it. Um, okay, let's bring our palms down. Okay, do I go, can I, should I go? You can go on the outside of your leg, yeah. Well, um, like, on the inside, if that feels better, because it's a little wider, yeah, you could do that, okay, too. Because that feels good for your body. Yeah. Drop my heels to the mat. That one's no drill. That's really hard. Bring our big chest together. Break number two. Wow, I'm so nice. Keep oh my god. Together. Knees apart. You can bring a block forward if you need to rest your forehead onto something and just walk your hands forward as you reach the hips. Or if you don't need a block, you just want to rest your so while you're here in the child's pose, think about like really breathing into the back of your body. Since that's where the space is right now. Just inhale. Oh my god, guys. Nina, I'm sweaty. Woo! <laughs> that was no joke, guys. 
thank you so much. Of course, thank I you. I really appreciate that spike. <laughs> and um, we're gonna, I'm gonna, you gotta come and have a work, come work out with Kevin. And I'm I. down. Let's do like, it. Come I'm on ready. the next. We're gonna have Lena come on the next Mookie Monday because like, you guys don't even know she's like a beast. She can do like pull ups <laughs> and like is super strong too. So she's not just a, a beast at yoga. So um, thank you guys for all your support and everything. Uh, everyone's comments and everyone that likes and comments and subscribes I appreciate all you guys um, tell me what you guys want to see I'm gonna I, I love showing the things that I do if you guys want me to try something new I'm always willing to try stuff so let me know and um, again guys I love you all thank you for the support and we'll catch you next time see ya